Hello, I'm Ken Walton, classical music critic of The Scotsman and co-founder of the classical music website Vox Carnix. It's a real privilege to have been asked to adjudicate the culmination of this year's Rising Stars competition. I've enjoyed enormously listening to the 50 performances from those in Transitus, S1 and S2 chosen to go through to this key stage. Of course, this has been no ordinary year, which has presented these pupils with a huge challenge of committing their performances to film, mostly done from their own homes and often to a pre-recorded accompaniment. I have to say that every one of them has done an absolutely wonderful job. That, of course, doesn't make my job any easier. How do you pick the winners from such a splendid array of talent, especially where the performance circumstances vary so much in terms of location, acoustics, recording technique, instrument presentation, and let's not forget the ultimate quality and success of the musical performance. I can honestly say that these factors were confidently addressed by all the performers. There were instances, instances perhaps where the chosen repertoire was possibly a little too ambitious, and some instances where an essentially very good performance was let down by difficulties in synchronising pulse or tuning. But really this was an heroic response to a difficult ask, and one they should be extremely proud of. Of course, there have to be winners, and in deciding these, I was ultimately looking for those performances that demonstrated a true and assured understanding of the music being presented. I wasn't so much concerned about the technical difficulty of a piece, or indeed the genre of which there were many, from classical to traditional to rock. The defining fact for me was in finding a performance that quite simply transfixed me. So, here are the results for the individual year groups. I've awarded first place in Transitus to Theo, whose performance in saxophone of Richard Rodney Bennett's three-piece suite bristled with th rhythmic vitality and absolutely loads of character. Thank you. 
For S1, the winner is Maya, whose class act solo leaving store I found transfixing with beautifully shaded phrasing and a truly magical ending. In S2, the winner is Shenzi, who convinced me in her Telemann keyboard fantasia that she really understood how this music from the German Baroque should be interpreted, with crisp, clean finger work and a sensitive sensitivity to where the emphasis lay within the texture. Now, I also have to choose an outright winner across all three year groups for instrumental and for vocal. That instrumental award goes to Theo in Transitus for his saxophone solo. The outright vocal award goes to Maya in S1 for her gently descriptive performance of Star Vicino.
So congratulations to all our wonderful performers, to all our winners, and thanks to the parents and teachers who encouraged such fine music making during this restrictive time. And thank you for asking me to be part of such a wonderful project. I thoroughly enjoyed it.